Hi there. I would like to introduce you to a technique I developed to work Lily of the Valley noops in a different color. This technique will cover right leaning noops and left leaning noops. To go along with this video, I have a pattern that you can download for free so you can practice. Here's a picture. This is a little scarf that you saw in the picture. It's one pattern repeat and it's a perfect starting point to work through the right leaning and left leaning noops. Once you get familiarized with the technique and if you like this pattern, then you can, you can work it multiple times across, two or three times across, which should give you an adult size scarf or shawl. In the meantime though, you can work it in any stash yarn you've got to practice I've worked this in fingering weight yarn and this one is worked in worsted weight yarn. To start with, what is a noop? A noop which is spelled N-U-P-P -P in English, is a bobble-like shape that is traditionally used with Estonian lace patterns. Let's see how to create a noop. In a standard project, you would create the noop with the same color you're working with. You'd get to the point where you're going to create it and you would knit into that stitch and draw a long loop. Hold on to that loop with your index finger and thumb if you're an English style knitter. Then make a yarn over, knit again, another yarn over, knit again, and you have five stitches. And in this case, you would that would be considered a five stitch noop. Notice that we started with a knit stitch and we ended with a knit stitch. Most often you have to make a seven stitch noop which then you would make another yarn over and knit into that same stitch and draw a long loop. Let me show this worked continental style. Working a noop continental style, it's very similar. Knit into the stitch, draw a long loop. Hold on to that loop with your middle finger and thumb. Then make a yarn over, draw another loop yarn over and draw another loop. So here we've got a five stitch noop and then yarn over again to make it a seven stitch noop. On the wrong side, knit up to the point, perfect your pattern up to the point where you need to create where the noop is, right here, and you insert your needle through all seven loops that you created and wiggle it a little bit like this to even out all of these loops. You notice how important it is that we make these stitches elongated because you have to insert your needle through all of them together. Once you do that, then you pull together all of these loops. and. Let's get to the next one. Here I will demonstrate this continental style. <coughs> Insert your needle through all seven loops. Two, four, six, seven. Wiggle it a little bit to even out all of these loops and then draw all seven together. And continue knitting. Here we've made two standard noops. So now let's see how to work noops in a different color. Working for the pattern that I have for you to download, I'm working to the point where I need to create my noop. 
And uh, to start with, we are going to be working on right-leaning noobs, like in here. So I have to work mine on this stitch. Then I bring my contrast color yarn, tie it around the main color, snuggle that knot to the needle, and I leave in enough yarn, enough tail yarn to weave in at the end. Uh, when Before we begin making the noop with the contrast color, we want to position the main color yarn over the needle because we want to incorporate when, we, when we're working our noop, we want to incorporate this yarn within the noop structure. To do that, we move it to the front and as we're knitting into the stitch, we make sure that this yarn stays above and we make our first knit, yarn over, knit, again I'm drawing long loops in here, yarn over, knit, and my pattern says I need to create a seven stitch noop. Here we go, we've got seven stitches in here. Then I drop my contrast color. Oh, and let me show you here. This is the main color. It's positioned to work the next stitch, but you can't see it across the, the noop, and that's exactly what we want in here. Then I pick it up, and I continue working my pattern. And I want to note that throughout this video, I will showing, I'll be showing my technique worked both continental and English style. We're starting here with English style. So on the wrong side, we work up to up to the point where we need to purl seven together for the noob. And we, we do that with the main color. But before I do that, I need to position my yarn to the left in position to create the next noop here on this stitch. Again, as a reminder, we're creating right leaning noops on the right side, but when we flip to the wrong side, then the order is reversed. So the next noop is going to happen on the left side of this pre-existing one. So let's see how to trap this yarn and make it look good. And we do that this way. We insert the needle through all seven loops together. Then we take this yarn over the needle. And as we're purling all of these stitches, we purl and we make sure that we're purling across that yarn as well, that contrast color yarn as well. Then since my noop is going to happen two stitches away from this one, I'm going to trap this yarn on the next stitch as well. So as I am purling this stitch, I'll put my yarn, contrast color yarn, over the needle and purl. At this point, I'm done with this contrast color yarn for now. I'll just bring it down and out of the way and we'll keep working my row. I'm starting on my next pattern row and I'm working per pattern to the point where I need to create my next noop. And as you notice here, I'm working continental style. I'm to the point where I need to create my noop. Then I position my main color working yarn to the front and over the needle and I bring this contrast color yarn and make sure that this stays in place and then I begin working the noop by knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Yarn over and knit one. Again, two, four, six, seven. Then I'm ready to drop this for now. 
and drop the stitch over the needle and continue my pattern on the wrong side I knit to the point where I need to purl all seven together and as with the first snoop where we worked it English style then I'll insert my needle through all seven loops wiggle it a little bit then bring this yarn over the needle and purl all of these together then as I purl the next stitch I trap this yarn again taking it over the needle and purl that stitch then bring this yarn down and out of the way and I continue the, the row I've continued working and finished all of the noops for this series in here and I've worked all the way to the on the wrong side all the way to the purl 7 together here since I don't have any more noops to do I don't have to worry about trapping this yarn anymore however I like to at least trap it within the purl 7 and I, the reason I do this is because it provides a, a nice starting point for weaving in this tail at the end so I so will gather all of these loops together and place the contrast color yarn over the needle and purl everything together I'm going to work two more rows and I'll come back and show how to weave in these yarn tails I like to weave in the tails right after I complete the series of noobs and the reason being is because first I like my work to look neat and second if I wait to work my entire project then it feels overwhelming to have to weave in so many yarn tails so it's really nice to do it right when we finish so I'm going to cut the contrast color yarn and with a tapestry needle I'm going to thread the yarn through that tapestry needle and then I will weave this tail through the noop structure and I'll just go through the noop and I want the yarn to be snug but not tight and I want it to conform to the shape of the noop as well just like that and then when I'm finished maybe I will go one more like this I will snip this and this once the the fabric is blocked you won't be able to see it and I do the same with the tail at the end I am going to weave it through snug but not tight along the noop structure conforming to the noop shape and then snip the yarn and here we are we are finished with this series of noops that are right leaning on the front or on the right side and left leaning on the wrong side. I've worked ahead in the pattern and I'm on the row where I need to add my first left leaning noop. Before I work my sample Let's talk a little bit about left-leaning noops using this swatch in here. As you'll notice in here, when we move from noop to noop, there the first, the second one is to the left of the first one, and the third to the left of the second, and so on and so forth. When we flip the work to the wrong side, 
the order is reversed. So your first one is here, then the next one is to the right of it. And this is important when we think about trapping that contrast color yarn so it's available for the next uh, noob that we need to work. So keep that in mind as I'm showing the technique. So I'm working to the point where I need to create my noob, which is right here right now. And similar to the right leaning noobs, I bring my contrast color yarn, tie it around the main color yarn, and snuggle it to the needle. Now again, this knot in here is permanent, so we won't be removing it. And working the actual noop is exactly the same as we've done in here. The only difference is going to be on the wrong side. And I'll explain that when we get to it. So I'm working my noop. And notice in here is that I'm actually now working the noob with both my hands, rather I am working the pattern with both my hands. I'm working continental style with the main color and then when I get to making the noob I'm working that English style. So if you feel comfortable working both English and continental style you can leverage this, you can leverage this technique to do it similar to what I'm doing right now. So knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over and one more yarn over and knit one and that is our seven stitch noob. We continue working our row. Here I'm working my wrong side row and per earlier in introduction I am going to work to one stitch before I need to make my pearl seven for the noob. As I explained, we need to trap this yarn to the right to make it available to be uh, to, to make it available to work the next noob. And the way we do it is the best way to do it is to trap it on the stitch right before the noob pearl seven. So we just as we're working to pearl the stitch, we bring that yarn over the needle and we purl it while trapping this yarn in here. You'll notice here I am bringing my yarn down and out of the way so next I can purl all of these seven stitches together. And the yarn now is available on this side, on the right side to work the next noob. I'm going to show this one more time, both to show how to work the technique both with a combination English style and continental style. And I also want, want to show you when we get to the wrong side how to position the yarn slightly differently if you would like when we trap it on the stitch previous to that, to the Pearl 7 together. So I'm finished with this and I continue working my row. I'm on the wrong side row right now after the second noop. And I'm working to one stitch before the pearl seven together. So here we are again. This is the one stitch before the pearl seven together. So I gather my contrast color yarn and I pearl that stitch while trapping the yarn. In the in the previous transition between the first noop to the second noop, I brought the yarn down and out of the way. But you do have the option to bring the yarn up and out of the way as well. Just bring it like this and out of the way. You bring it up and over the needle and out of the way. Then pull all seven together and continue working the row. Whether you bring it down and out of the way or up and out of the way is something that is going to depend on your personal knitting style 
and whichever way you feel most comfortable with. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's just that there is a way that feels more comfortable to you and more convenient to you. I encourage you to try it both ways and then pick whichever way that works best. I have one more tip to give you that's related to working the last left-leaning noob. I will work to it and come back. I've completed working the last left-leaning noob and I've worked to the noob itself on the wrong side. I didn't need to worry anymore about trapping this yarn ahead because I don't have any more noobs to work in this series. So then what I need to do is figure out what to do with this yarn after that last stitch in here. And as with the last noob on the right leaning series, I like to trap this yarn with the Pearl 7 together. Like this. And then I like to bring it down and out of the way this time and then continue purling. And the nice thing about it is when I cut the yarn then it is positioned right here and I can weave it in within that noob structure and it works really really well. I hope that you've had a chance to download this free pattern and practice along. If you'd like to work an adult version of this design with multiple pattern repeats, then you might want to consider watching my next video where I'm going to talk about yarn management when working multiple repeats because you need different yarn sources for each series and then how to estimate the amount of yarn that you need per series. Until then, happy knitting and thank you for watching.